people, Alan is here. I finally made it back home and I'm ready to get back to the task I left last weekend. I posted two cases uh, from China in Instagram last week and I thought I will open them right away and share with you the content. Unfortunately, life uh, got on the way and here we are one week later, uh, but finally uh, closing this uh, gestalt and opening those boxes. You can guess that those uh, cases contain archery equipment and more than that, it is uh, Qing or Manchu archery equipment. One case contains arrows, some of them targets, some of them uh, Makivara arrows and the bigger case contains a new hornbow, what I ordered uh, maybe two years ago or something like this. But nevertheless, let's open it together. Here you go, the new ball from Wang Bi Feng, uh, also known as the Blue Sky 79. It's still in the plastic, then let's 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 open it. A few moments later. Alright, it took quite a while uh, to, to remove the plastic wrapping, but overall it looks good. Huh? What do you think? Before going uh, to specs, measuring bow and uh, weighting it and what's not, let me share a few things about this bow, especially uh, people who were involved in, in, in making this bow. Uh, first is the bower, bower name is uh, Fang Pei Feng, uh, he also known as uh, Blue Sky 79. He's making like all type of horn bows like Chinese, Turkish, what's not, but uh, he's uh, well known for his Manchu or Qing bows. Second person who was involved in making this bow uh, is the person who decorated it, and his name is Li Fang. Third person who was involved in uh, all, all this mess was uh, Chang Li Fei. He basically ordered uh, the bow for me uh, from uh, Blue Sky 79, as well as like he received it from him and then sent the decoration to Li Fang, and then receive it back, and then pack everything and order this amazing um, cases and send everything to, 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 to Europe. I believe it's time for specs of this ball. The overall length uh, of the ball tip to tip is 160 centimeters or 63 inches and the string is 130 centimeters or 51 inch if you would like. The distance between uh, bridges is 110 centimeters or 43 inches and brace height is quite big, but it is expected for Manchu ball. Uh, brace height is 24 centimeters or around uh, nine and a half inches. So party people, I'm pretty sure it is time for the first ball. Let me take off my jacket and maybe move a little bit further from the camera so that you will see the shape of the ball. And let's, let's have a first pull. Alrighty. Oh gosh, it's smooth. Oh gosh, it's smooth. It's awesome. It is awesome. I've just rested uh, my my weight, my skill. But well, let's see. Let's see how heavy it is. I hope you see the whole thing. Alrighty. What the reading says. The reading says 65.58. So this bow end up to be a 65 pounder on my draw length. If you're taller, it can be a little bit heavier. If, if you're shorter, it can be a little bit lighter. But nevertheless, this is a perfect poundage for uh, 3D archery tournaments or like the places where they have a, a limitation for, for draw weight or something like this. I believe uh, this bow will have a lot of views. <clears throat> but what can you do uh, without arrows, right? A bow is fantastic, but I believe it's time to open second box, uh, a smaller one. Let's go and open it. My new Manchu arrows, what they are? They are 68 grams of beauty, made by Hu Lei in China. Total length of arrows uh, is 93 centimeters. 
It has 28 centimeters fletching uh, made out of uh, peacock feathers. Uh, an overall arrow uh, made based on the paintings and uh, artifacts of, uh, of historical arrows. Coolest feature about this arrow is that knock strengthened and, and decorated not just by paint but applying uh, uh, a silk unwind from silk cocoons. This gives this amazing turquoise color. The biggest difference from historical arrows is point. Uh, it is a compromise uh, for between like historical uh, equipment and uh, be able to shoot together with uh, with other folks uh, on 3D archery tournaments and, and indoors or what's not right. So the 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 point has to be smooth and basically a, a, a field point. I ordered 17 arrows, 15 normal target arrows with fletching and everything, right? And then two arrows without fletching. It's just a pair shaft with all the decorations and weight distribution uh, as, as all other arrows, but yeah, it doesn't have fletching. Those arrows without fletching, I'm planning to use to practice Kaojan or Makivar if you prefer uh, Japanese terminology. It's basically shooting from very, very, very close distance into the uh, a target or Makivara so that you train your release. And uh, having arrows without fletching basically I mean two things. First, you won't destroy fletching shooting from close distance. And second, the fletching won't affect uh, the initial flight of the arrow so you can focus on, on the release so that uh, the you minimize initial oscillation of the, of the arrow. We talk a lot about arrows and bows, so it is time to give it a shot. All right, we have bow, we have two uh, Makivara arrows. Uh, let's give it a try. All righty, all righty. How does it feel? Ouch. The release was a little bit collapsed, but uh, let's give it another try. Oh, this one was better. So people, uh, the bow shoots amazing. Uh, subjectively, it is extremely fast bow. I don't have a chronometer or something like this to measure uh, actual speed of this bow, but Man, I love it. I love this ball. That was amazing and new experience for me uh, of unpacking my bow and arrows uh, together with you, shooting it first time uh, and sharing it right away. What I'm thinking about that uh, and what's not. Uh, measuring the bow, uh, looking at arrows, which are fantastic, and I never had anything like this, uh, uh, and uh, this is an amazing addition to my collection. Uh, what I am planning to do, I'm planning to go to the 3D parkour uh, in my archery range and give it a proper test. I will film a few shots tomorrow morning and share with you uh, in, in, in shorts or other video. But other than that, I hope you enjoy that. See you next time. Cheers.